hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine open world tutorial series so you have already know uh, epic announced that the partnership between mega scan pixel mega scan and epic so yeah that's great news for all of us so yeah i'm gonna see how to use this mega scans with my projects actually i haven't tried that myself before so yeah let's see okay we have this sign in with epic games oh, still i need email all right let's see okay signing in redirecting hello right So I just signed in with my Epic Games account. What else I have to do? Sure, sure. I'm not going to use it with anything else. Alright, let's browse and see what we can use for our open world project this is not the stylish stylized version this is the realistic version so i guess i will use some some textures for this ground and also for this rocky surfaces yeah let's see Oh, not just textures. It seems we have everything we will need here. That's good news. Right, so first, what do I need? Okay, we have floors here. Shall we try grassland? Okay, I searched grass and I think let's try this one. Okay. Download this assets four times faster using Quixel Bridge. Alright, let's give it a try. Quixel Bridge. What is Quixel Bridge? Right, Quixel Bridge is downloaded. Let's install it. I think I'll give another location. Yeah, here I have to select Unreal Engine. Program files. Yeah, let's create a folder. Quixel. Alright, so this is Quixel Bridge and let's again let's select that cross texture this one long grass well I don't think I really need it okay at the moment so I'll use only I need only albedo and normal that's all ah we need to sign in 
okay signed in with my epic account then let's download it you can see the download progress here well while this is being downloaded just think about the possibilities I think we have everything we need for the rest of my life I'm not sure okay so where is the downloaded assets hmm. downloaded so how do I get them to Unreal ah, here export settings to Unreal Engine version 4.23 project location um, it should be IT open world open world realistic content may I create a new folder mega scans okay uh, I think I have to select only the content folder here what wait what is installation folder and what's the difference between project location okay I think uh, this installation folder means where the textures are being installed I'm not sure wait a minute what's this okay I guess the plugin is installed there so let me change it all right so here what you have to do is you have to select the engine installation version uh, location in my case it's here e program files epic games ue 4.23 right so i have selected that and after selecting it uh, you will get a notification here plugin installed right now let's select the project location it's here this is the project location all right now let's hit export and you can see exporting okay could not export assets please check log where is the log okay I had to restart the engine and press export again and it seems now it is working right oh I can get the complete material here not just the textures all right well actually I only wanted the texture but okay right now let's um, open my landscape material and apply this new texture this one for level 3 well if you are watching this video only then you may not find you may not be familiar with the material setup I have here so actually this is something we have worked on our previous episodes and it doesn't look particularly good here actually it looks a little dark but I should be able to adjust it here well yeah as you can see this grass and the ground doesn't really match that's because I haven't 
design the grass according to the texture that I used for the ground but I just want to sh show you guys how to use mega scans for the first time so yeah shall we do something about these rocky surfaces too yeah no I think this is enough so the same pipeline so maybe I will revamp my textures and everything with this new texture library we have access to. So yeah, now you know how to sign in with your Epic account and export textures from Quixel Bridge. And yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's all. So I'll stop this episode at this point. And uh, if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and um, yeah if you are new to my tutorials yeah this is uh, what i'm doing i'm working on a open world project and i'm sharing everything i do along the way as uh, a series of videos and if you join my patreon club you will have so access to source code and you can ask questions and all other benefits that uh, you, as I have listed them here. And thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.